um, sir. Go ahead. Just. All right. Let me share my screen. Um, where's it at? All right. So first of all, um, your practical and physiology test links are in the practical and physiology folder. I'm sure you've seen that already. It's at the top of the modules page in the module section. So just make sure you get them done. You don't have to wait until the due date. But if you have to wait until the due date, just make sure it's done by the due date. All right. <clears throat> now, as far as your next bit of material, our second practical and physiology test is due already four weeks from today is the week of the next practical, our second block of material. So that's the week of the 7th and 8th, October 7th and 8th, somewhere in there. And so what I did is I made the due dates for the, all of the pre and post lab assignments. So here you see exercise four. This is what we're working on next. Well, you're going to be working on it as soon, you know, when you get done with the first practical. Next week in class, we're going to be covering uh, the blood chapter. So look at the due dates that I put for the pre and post labs. I put it for October 6th. Um, the reason why I did that is because I'm having to go in and change a lot of due dates because people are having some issues. So I am going to start making the due dates for the pre and post lab assignments for what we're working on. So you see the post lab assignments down here for that block of material, the, all of the quiz assignments are going to be due the day before we're supposed to take our practical, our next practical for that block. So I put the due date for October 6th. This is a hard due date. Does that mean you're waiting until October 6th to work on the blood assignments? Uh-uh. You need to work on them now because we're doing the blood lab next week. So technically for next week, before you come to class, your pre-lab assignment should be done. That's why they're called pre-lab assignments. So at least you should go through your material a little bit, work on your pre-lab assignments and have those done. And you would be prepared, you know, for the lab that we're covering next week. Now, if you get all of that done, you could keep going through all your learning resources and then work on your post lab assignments. You don't have to wait on me to do that either. All right. And just remember uh, when I get the parameters set for the next block of material quizzes, like exercise four quiz in engage, you're going to have the due date for October 6th for that as well. All right. So our second block of material is going to cover the blood lab, identifying blood cells, blood typing, uh, who can receive blood from whom, all of that. It will also cover the digestive system. There is a cat, some cat dissection pictures to identify the digestive organs and some other organs in the cat on, the, on that practical. So we have our pre and post lab assignments for the digestive system lab as well that, you have, that we're gonna be working on. This is gonna be two weeks from today, this module. Three weeks from today, we're gonna to work on the respiratory system. You're going to be doing the pre and post lab assignments. Again, notice all the way down through those three modules, I have the due date for October 6th. That's because on October 7th, which is a Wednesday, we're supposed to do our second practical. So I'm going to make all of our pre and post lab assignments and quizzes for that block of material due the day before we're supposed to be doing our, our test for that block. So you, you need to make sure you're working on after your first practical, start on the blood module. All right. So that's a, that's a key point point. So our second block of material covers the blood, the digestive system and the respiratory system. All right. Now you're not worrying about that right now. You're what you're worrying about immediately right now is finalizing your studies for practical one and physiology test one. But as soon as you get both of those assignments completed, start working on the blood lab, the learning resources and the pre-lab assignments. All right. All right. So 